Edutech Guys Radio, radio radio.edutechguys.com. The opinions expressed under the site and this program for those of the participants are not intended to and do not necessarily reflect the opinions of any specific educational entity, sponsor, company, state, or government agency. And welcome to Edutech Guys Radio, (laughs) brought to you by Southwest Arkansas Education Cooperative and Oak Public Schools in Oak, Arkansas. Welcome to the show. I'm David Anderson. I got me bloke here, Jeff Modlock. And I'm the one without a head injury. <laughs> hey, welcome uh, to the show. <laughs> I'm got I'm here with one of the characters from uh, My Fair Lady. He played Eliza Doolittle's mother, and we're glad to have him on the show. With oh, welcome, welcome, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm uh, I won't be doing that the whole show. <laughs> I wouldn't have a voice left. I would say, anywho, it, it got me. I was like, "What?" The... <laughs> no one told me. Are there Vegemite sandwiches here? And I didn't know about it. What's I, going I don't. On? I don't really have. I have no idea what that accent is. It's. It's a kind of a. It, a... I can tell you. It was kind of a. It was a Southern Wales South Cockney mixed with a, uh, an American trying to do a British accent. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Heavy on the last part. Pretty good. Pretty good. Because <laughs> so, you know I'm an expert on. Ah, I see. Yeah, you know I am. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. So uh, yeah, welcome to the show. Uh, you're listening to radio.edutechguys.com. If uh, you got a uh, question, comment, problem, horror story you feel like uh, sharing with us, by all means, jump out to edutechguys.com. Scroll to the bottom. You can fill out the form there, or you can uh, tweet to us. We are at edutechguys. Also hashtag. ETG chat, all that social media goodness, facebook.com slash edutech guys. As I like to say, Google edutech guys, and that's us. That's how it is. That's where we are. We're everywhere. We're everywhere. So there you go. <laughs> Jeff is like, what uh, is up with this? No, it's a great show. <laughs> uh, you already did the website address and everything, I right? I was typing. You know, I can't, I know, I can't yes. help it when I'm typing. You're on, I'm the, not... you're on the second bullet with it. I'm on the second bullet. That's right. You're number two with a bullet. <laughs> hey, I want to give a big shout out to, uh, you know, Greg is, is still an edutech guy at heart. Uh, Greg works for another company now, and, and he still kind of has his thumb in education because he works with a company that does a lot for education, which we'll actually talk about them in just a bit. Yeah. Uh, Aptigy. Uh, uh, here in just a bit, and uh, but yeah, we want to welcome the the good doc Nate. That's his Twitter handle, the good doc D O C Nate N A T E. Uh, he's coming on board. He'll be helping us with some behind the scenes things, like tweeting out bits of conversation, responding to uh, ETG chat hashtag ETG chat, and monitoring the Mixler.com chat as we go along. Uh, we appreciate his volunteer help, and that hopefully will someday turn into a paying gig. So uh, thanks, Nate and Nathan. And uh, glad to have you on board. And he's been, he's always been in the background for like the whole year, this yeah. year, this whole season, you know, yeah. really nailing social media for us during the show. And uh, we kind of reached out to him and said, hey, you want to use your talents for good and not evil? No. <laughs> so uh, we want to thank him for coming on board. Um, yeah, like David said, hey, today's show, um, it's, it's back to school in Arkansas, and it's back to school around the country. So this right. is our back to school show since it hit us pretty hard here. Yeah. Uh, for me, it hit me like 75 tons of cinder blocks and a baseball bat <laughs> in any order that you want to put them in. <laughs> It's a bunch of, and then it was, it was a whole pile of cinder blocks and a little old lady on top just beating it with a baseball bat. So I would like to think of it as me getting beat with a baseball bat and then the cinder blocks fall on all just of us. But yeah, right there, but yeah. it's a, uh, hey, it is, it is back to school time. And so we kind of have a fun uh, back to school show here. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to talk about different things uh, that uh, other folks have been talking about uh, in terms of back to school. And of course, later we'll be sharing a very cool uh, Google update for Google education. Uh, so we'll have that coming up. Yeah, man. But, uh, yeah, so I was, uh, I've been poking around, um, probably the last, the last little while anyway, uh, poking around different social media sites to kind of get a feel for what folks were talking about back to school. One of the hot topics is, uh, parent notification and what schools are doing in terms of, uh, reaching out to the parents to notify them for things like school closures or uh, events that are coming up or reminders, those types of things. And uh, there are a lot out there, no doubt about it. Um, I just, I happen to grab uh, the name of three of them just because three's a nice 
Well, it's a round number. It's got those curves, you know? It is a round number. It is. Um, but uh, one of them, and we talked about Greg going to work for Aptigee. They have a program. It's called Thrill Share. Thrill Share, okay. And it's a, uh, we actually use it in the district that I work in. And uh, Thrill Share is great. Um, the Thrill Share online web portal and the app allow you to post to their live feed, which is a live feed on your website, which is a live feed running kind of like a, you know, a, t- a Twitter or a Facebook feed. It doesn't have a, a character limit. So you can pretty much put anything up on that live feed constantly cool. and pictures too. So you can take a picture and post, Hey, this are the volcanoes and everybody's here for first day. And when you hit send, it immediately goes to the website and fills that live, that live share piece, that live feed on the website. So it's a constant update. What's really cool with that thrill share piece is if I touch the little bird and I touch the F, then it also goes to Facebook and Twitter at the same time it goes to the to the live feed. So you hit three social medias, your personal one, the personal one for the district, Twitter, and Facebook at the same time. That's very cool. What's really neat about it is it has a button on it that allows you, if anyone has the Hope Public Schools app, which is on the iOS store, Android store, is Hope Public Schools. If anyone has that app, um, they can ask for alerts. And if you push the alert button, like if it is, an, you know, if you write... School's going to be letting out in 20 minutes due to, you know, flash floods or something, you know, something along that line. Sure. You can say alert and the phone will, boop, 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 it'll beep and, you know, give them alert like we all have on our, on our, on our cell phones. So that's, that's really cool, cool that's too. That's very cool. And man, another more. feature they have is you can uh, make a voice message and you can have it and it will call the parents. And if you already have the list of phones in your system, it will call the phones in the system for you and give the same message over voice. That is awesome. So it's kind of a massive threat from AptG that, you know, that's what. Now, I understand other websites are starting to incorporate in other sure. contact systems, too. Uh, we just happen to use AptG. It is an Arkansas-based company, and uh, we've actually we, we've actually dealt with them a bit. So we've given them a little shout out there. It's, it's a very fine piece, and well, I highly recommend it. And not only have you dealt with them a little bit, but you... You turned Greg over. I to left. Them. I gave Greg you to them. Gave Greg to them. <laughs> they owe me. You should have got something out of that, man. <laughs> that's, not, that's the darn truth. You just don't know. I'm still crying at night over that. I know you are. It's, it's, we're going through <laughs> through tissues like nobody's business. Uh, a couple of other examples. Uh, Remind 101. Um, that's used. In fact, that's what we use here at Southwest uh, Arkansas Education Co-op. We use Remind as our way of communicating out with our staff. So, you know, we don't have parents, students uh, directly related to our organization, but we do have our staff members. And so we still had to have a way to communicate out with them. And so that's what we're using for things like flash flooding or uh, snow closures or whatever is is coming up. Uh, And then uh, another one that is being uh, talked about or, you know, I mentioned a few times anyway that I saw was one called Blooms, B-L-O-O-M-Z. I'm not too familiar with that one at all, but it was just one that seemed to come up uh, relatively frequently as I started searching through there. So maybe one that uh, schools are interested in checking out. But uh, anyway, there's there's three of them. And again, there's a ton out there. You can, I'm sure you could do a quick search for uh, parent notification systems and you'll be inundated with results from the almighty Google. Yeah. Yeah, but that's and and I mean I have to go ahead and go on the record here saying that if you're not updating your website every day, then you're breaking the number one rule that we all should be following in education, and that's called consistency. Because you know everyone knows what makes a good classroom, what makes a good educator, what makes a good learning environment is consistency, consistency, sure. consistency. And guess what makes a great social media web presence, a, a, you know, a media web presence is consistency. If we if this was thirty years ago and we had radio and newspaper, then consistency still is the key sure. of putting something. Yeah. Everyone soon learns that every Tuesday in the paper, there's going to be the section from the school. Exactly. You know, and the, you know they're going to have the lunch menu in every Sunday night, and we're right. going to see the lunch and breakfast are going to be in the menu and cut it out and put it on the refrigerator. <laughs> Everybody did the same thing. That's right. <laughs> but you know now we have this ability with pretty much anything you're carrying to keep that consistency going. And making sure that you're you're updating your website. Yep. So if you want to keep your parents involved and you want to really use those great words like stakeholder and all that kind of good stuff, then you need to be consistent and keep your social media, your HR, uh, your HR, your uh, PR mm-hmm. um, on top of things. Exactly. You should probably keep your, keep your HR on top of things. Definitely. Too, but Human yeah. Re- yeah, I agree with that one too. But <laughs> they, have a, they have a tough enough job and we're not going to talk about them. <laughs> uh, one of the other uh, hot, really hot topics is coding. Uh, you know, we talked a lot about coding 
last school year, uh, different pieces and parts. In fact, uh, even did the uh, a live broadcast from one of the local schools here, Spring Hill, uh, when they did their hour of code uh, with uh, most of the students in their elementary and middle school. I think it. I think it went to middle school. Um, but uh, coding is definitely hot this year for school year. Um, to me, one of the standbys is code.org. You know, they're the ones that, you know, they host Hour of Code. They've got lots of other really cool uh, different uh, environments that students can learn coding. Uh, there's codecombat.com, which that's actually one of my personal favorites. There's an adventure game that you play as you're programming or you're programming as you play, however, which way you want to look at that. So you're the little character on the screen and you have to perform the actions, but it's not just, you know, moving your, uh, you know, arrows around and hitting the space bar to swing a sword. You actually have to program what that character is going to do hmm. as it's going through the level. So yeah, very cool stuff. Um, and it, and it teaches all kinds of, I mean, it's, it's teaching variables and it teaches naming uh, particular uh, objects and it's very very cool. So that's codecombat.com, and then one of the ones that uh, I saw earlier today, uh, there's a group called Filament Games, F I L A M E N T Games. So filamentgames.com, and they actually have a partnership with the Girl Scouts, and uh, they've got a cool thing. We'll I'll tweet out the uh, the link here to it in a minute. Um, but they have a, a neat thing where you can build an avatar through coding. So you code, and as you code, it builds this avatar that then you could download, save, do whatever you want to with. So um, I just thought that was kind of a that was that was it was a neat twist. I hadn't seen anything quite like that, especially that kind of a partnership. So I thought that was yeah. kind of a cool thing. So yeah, cool. I'll, yeah, uh, I'll get so, that tweeted out. Girl Scouts, they have a program, coding program, right? Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I just did. Yeah, that's you're not listening to a word I'm saying. No, I'm sorry. I was reading something else, and I, I was I just no. I was thinking about so uh, here, coming up on uh, August the 29th is Spring Hill. Uh, they're going to be doing uh, the governor is going to be here uh, at the campus, uh, pushing the new incentive uh, on coding in Arkansas for kids, and uh, so he's going to be right down the road. He's going to be visiting several places in the state of Arkansas to push coding amongst public schools. So uh, if you if you'd like to find out more, um, I head over to Facebook and follow uh, Asa Hutchinson. You can follow him directly on Facebook, and you can also follow him on Twitter. So just search Asa Hutchinson, uh, Hutchinson, excuse me, and uh, you can find him on uh, Twitter and Facebook and find out more about the governor's uh, new program on coding in Arkansas. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. So yeah, uh, Edutopia they've released their big list of education grants and resources. So. Uh, We'll uh, send that one out here in just a bit. We'll we'll put that out on the Twitter, and uh, make sure you can find that link, and you can also find it in the show notes on our website. You know, down the road. Yeah, exactly. And if you're not familiar with Edutopia, I I definitely recommend checking that out. It is at edutopia.org. E D U T O P I A. Edutopia.org, and it's actually the um, web presence for the George Lucas Educational Foundation. And, you know, like the George Lucas. So there you go. Um, and uh, they do all kinds of cool. Edutopia has all kinds of cool things. But one of the things that they put out every year is, the, is this big list of educational grants and resources. Um, because they know uh, that it's really hard for teachers to come up with the money, the funding, to be able to include some of the tech stuff, some of the cool stuff in their classrooms. And so uh, they have... Uh, uh, there's a whole list here of things that uh, teachers can apply for, and it, and it covers all kinds of different topics. Um, there's a, here's one new schools venture fund grant programs. Um, here's one eat, learn, live, and grow. So I mean, all kinds of you know, it covers all kinds of different things, and so you definitely want to uh, check those out if you are an educator. And we will uh, tweet those out, or we may just have. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, sorry, uh, the I can't keep up now that we now that Nate, now that uh, the good doc is is tweeting doing us some out. Stuff and, our phones are and, blowing and up, we're and everything to do else. Stuff. Yeah, it's, it's like, <laughs> what are we doing here? So awesome stuff, man. Yeah, that's so you know covering some back to school stuff once again. Talking about parent notification. Uh, if you're not putting your stuff out there, if you're not using a program like Remind One Hundred and One, or maybe Aptitude Thrill Share, or Blooms. 
or any of the great websites out there that, uh, that are provided for education, that your website is probably a great website also. Uh, remember, consistency is the key and keeping that information out there. Uh, find the one that, that does it quickest for you and makes it as uh, enjoyable to your customers and your parents and your constituents. Um, that's one of the things about art. We were talking about art at lunch today. And there's the thing about art. You, you know, if you love making art and people like looking at your art, that's, that, that's the whole kicker. So whether you make a billion dollars or one dollar, that's the key. Exactly. The same thing goes with media online. You know, if you enjoy making it and people like watching it or looking at it, bingo, it's a win. Exactly. So yeah, that coding. Remember, coding this year is the big deal. Mm -hmm. Want to keep that in our brains. Uh, I'm, I'm giving you a little recap because we're about to head into some music real quick. Take just a quick little break. Uh, Edutopia. Want to hit them? www.edutopia, E-D-U-T-O-P-I-A dot org. They've got some grants and resources on there now. You can find it from the front page if you hit it. And check them out. See what's on there for you and yours and your school and your educational entity. Hey, we're going to jump out real quick to some music. This is a little Nick Flora with Nobody Gets Out Clean. We'll be right back in about five minutes.
listening to Edutech Guys Radio coming to you live from Southwest Arkansas. We'll be right back with some more of our back to school shows, so stay tuned. Hey, welcome back. Uh, we're glad to always have some Nick Flora on the show. We like a little music to break up things so David and I can uh, catch up and get ourselves back on track. And in, in case we've gotten off track, which this time we haven't gotten off track. No, we've actually which done kind of amazing. Good. I mean, you know, I started usually off we're off way track. Off, well, I started off way off track, and yeah. boom, right back the, around. The, the whole weird accent. Thing. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. All right. Yeah. Hey, listen. Uh, got some guests coming up later in uh, the. Uh, Actually, we start most of our guests next month in September. Uh, don't yeah. We? yeah, September. Yeah, because uh, we only have a couple of weeks left in August. Right. Wow, it's getting crazy. It is crazy. The time is just flying. What's up with that? It's flying. Hey, if you'd like to have us at one of your events, we love to do conferences, and we love to do events. Yes. We love to have folks sit down and tell us their story about education, ed tech, technology, just life in general. Raising poodles. All right, we'll talk about it. You name, you name <laughs> it, you sit them down with us. And we will talk right. about it. So, hey, reach out to us, Jeff at edutechguys.com or David at edutechguys.com. Uh, let us know about your event and all that kind of good stuff, and we will be there with bells on. Also, we, will. we love to do ding -ding. Uh, workshops, uh, talk about podcasting, yes. talk about Google, talk about anything you want to talk about when it comes to edtech. David and I, we have a little over combined 40 years of ed tech knowledge that we've been honing. We've been doing this a long time. We've been, we've been sharpening those crayons for some time. <laughs> Drawing a nice picture here. That's right. But, uh, no, uh, but, you know, our main focus, uh, of course, is podcasting and, um, for us, tying that into uh, the Google environment, preferably Google Classroom. But we can talk about uh, either of those separately um, and a whole myriad of other edutech-related topics. I mean, we have been doing this a long time. We've been, you know, we, we've seen a lot. We've done a lot. We've been through a lot. So, uh, we can we can we can help, and we'd like to help, and we want to help, and we will be there with bells on. Uh, got some conferences and stuff coming up later in the bells. year. Yeah, dude, don't know what is that with the day? <laughs> what's what's you and the bells? I don't know. Ring a <laughs> ring a ding a ling. Um, yeah. Hey, listen, we have some conferences and stuff coming up later in the year. We'll talk yeah. about those near the end of the show. Go yeah. shout them out. You can always check our website out www.edutechguys.com. Head on over. Lots of stuff there. Uh, we're we're getting better at posting more stuff on the blog. <laughs> We're getting there. It's it's it's, it's a it's a it's a we're, process. We're having, we're having a slow growth process. <laughs> it's a process. It's a process. No. There's only there's only two of us, and so you know, and and we and this is not our full time job. And I'm in charge of mowing the yards around here at the office. Well, you know, for somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to keep the plants. Somebody watered in the has to keep office. those scissors sharp. <laughs> <laughs> so um, all right. So one of the things I did want to say real quick though, go ahead. Um, if you are uh, if you're interested on being in if you are interested in being on the show is what I'm trying to say. Uh, reach out to us. Uh, as Jeff said, you know, you can contact us, Jeff at edutechguys.com or David at edutechguys.com. And we will schedule a time, uh, get with you for a time for you to be on. We'd love to talk to you about stuff. And that's one of the things that I wanted to bring up uh, during our back to school uh, episode here. Um, I went out and did some poking around and, and, doing a little digging into what's going on with some of the folks that we've had on the show before and see kind of what they're up to with the, uh, with back to school. Uh, and so, um, Dave Burgess, uh, we had him uh, on here. He is the, the leader founder head scallywag of the <laughs> teach like a pirate movement. 
That's hashtag T L A P. Um, and interestingly, he's arguably one of the best guys in the oh, field. Thank you. I, I had to throw that in there. there. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Bada yeah. bing. <laughs> so, <laughs> pretty boy. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, but uh, one of the things that I noticed is that uh, he's he's got a lot of districts who are starting to incorporate that whole teach like a pirate mentality. Uh, whether it's and 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 I I'm saying teach like a pirate, but there's also learn like a pirate and yeah. administer like a pirate and there's yeah. all kinds of like a pirate movement. And so uh, he's got several things that are rolling out. And that's one of the things that I noticed uh, when I went out searching for him. And then of course, by proxy, the TLAP teach like a pirate, um, all kinds of stuff going on. So and, you and there's a lot, there's to, a bigger movement. He has a lot of followers writing, you yes. know, coming up with subsequent plans and, and other yes. books and, you know, all kinds of stuff out there. Yes. That is, it, it's been amazing. Uh, how much that's blowing up and taking off and, and really um, getting a life of its own just growing uh, out of control. <laughs> it's awesome, really. Uh, but you can follow him. You can find him on Twitter at Burgess Dave, and we will tweet that out. But at Burgess Dave, B-U-R-G-E-S-S-D-A-V-E. And again, his Teach Like a Pirate movement is hashtag T-L-A-P. So you can check that out. Oh, and then our, one of our favorite people in the world. Yes. Ginger yes. Lumen. Yeah. Uh, if you're not following Ginger Lumen on social media, then you're not keeping up with what's cutting edge in PBL. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And absolutely. not just PBL, just kids in general and how to teach kids in class. Right. I mean, when it gets down to, I mean, I don't know anything ba more basic than that. That's what she does. I mean, right. that's who she is. Catch her on Twitter at Ginger Lumen. Uh, but, you know, she's been helping schools uh, with project based learning as more schools, especially, adopt various models. And right. she's real good at coming in and helping a school find maybe that fit for that model and putting the you know, real-life situations into those school standards and their assessments. And you know, well, something really big she's doing, and she started last night, yes. is her Facebook Live sessions. Yeah. And I, she's given us a run for our money you know, because <laughs> she's much better looking than we are, and she's more fun to talk to by far. But yeah, Ginger is really knocking some great stuff out of the, out of the water there. I don't know when she sleeps. Between she and Dave, uh, David, uh, Kevin, I don't know, Kevin Honeycutt, I don't know when these guys sleep. I, I don't know when they sleep. And, and you know, that's, um, I'm going to jump ahead since you brought up Kevin. Kevin is actually, I don't know if he's there yet, on the way there. Anyhow, he's headed for or currently in Sydney, Australia, and he's working with. I'm a kangaroo down the school. I'm a kangaroo down. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I'd forgotten about that. Yeah, thank you. Um, but uh, yeah, so he's in Sydney, Australia right now, and he's working with teachers and students as they're getting back to school. Yeah. So, man, you talk about, you know. And you know, I'm glad you said that. So a lot of the, a lot of folks that I follow on Twitter are from uh, Great Britain, and I, I follow a lot of the other comp countries uh, because I like to keep up with what's happening in education. You know, sure. They're having some of the same issues and problems in public education around the world that we're having in the United States. You know, right. It's, it's yeah. a whole new world. Oh, <laughs> that was terrible. Wow, that was way bad. <laughs> um, so, uh, but yeah, you know, uh, so give you a little hint there, you know, and you can tell that Kevin gets that. Kevin's traveling to these countries and they're asking him to come in, like, right. hey, bring in something, you know, that's, you know, what is it, 7,000 miles away? <laughs> you know, bring in some different, some different thought processes here. Yeah, but absolutely. yeah, Kevin Honeycutt is another good friend of ours who yeah. is, uh, if you're not following Kevin, that's easy. It's at Kevin Honeycutt. Mm hmm. Just type in. It's like the Edutech guys. You type us into Google, you're going to find Edutech guys. Right. If you type Kevin Honeycutt into Google or Ginger Lumen or Richard Byrne or any of these folks, you're going right. to find them pretty easily on Google. So, you know, use the Google. Check it out. You can find out what's going on out there. Exactly. And, uh, well, speaking of Richard Byrne, since you threw his name out there, he is at R.M. Byrne. And, of course, he's the, uh, the, the force behind Free Stuff for Teachers. Uh -huh. And uh, he's always got uh, cool free stuff for teachers. He recently dropped a list of six places teachers can get free music for classroom use. What? So um, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll tweet out the uh, the link out to that. Um, but yeah, six good places to find free music for teachers. And then there's there's actually a few other things uh, mixed kind of mixed in there. But he is all about finding the free stuff, man. And and if you have not checked out free stuff. Four, that's a number four. Yeah. Free stuff for it's, it's free teachers. Free tech for teachers, isn't it? Free, free tech. tech. Sorry, free tech for the teachers. The number four teachers.com. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm cool. Sorry. You're right. 
Yeah. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. No, you're not. It's just uh, you were right. He has a lot of free stuff for he, teachers. He does free stuff, but it is free tech for That's teachers. That's what he does. You're right. Uh, it's right in front of me, too. You'd think I could read. <laughs> <laughs> Two of our previous guests, they've joined forces, and that would be Dr. Russ Qualia and uh, Justin Bader. And they've gotten together to talk about a student voice over on the Principal Center podcast. Yes. And that's a great one to catch if you, you know, you want to catch podcasts. And, you know, listen, you know, it's really funny. Just last night I was getting ready to go to bed. And I was like, you know, I haven't listened to music or anything in a long time. And I ended up listening to two podcasts while I was, you know, kind of, you know, getting ready to chill out and go to sleep there. Yeah. So, you know, if you're looking for time to do it, that's a great one. And that's at the www.principalcenter.com. And then you can get from there and you can find the Russell Qualia Student Voice Survey. You can find it from there. And uh, we'll post that out on the tweet here in just a bit. Yeah, but that's a great one. Those two gentlemen know their stuff, yes. and uh, they're they're great guys, and they can really give you some great insight on student voice and how to fix some issues you might be having in your school, or give you just head them off before they ever even happen. Exactly. Yeah. So, I, and I just when I found that, I thought it was so cool um, that you know here we had Justin Bader who was a guest on the show, and then Doctor Q was a guest in one of our very first, in fact, in our very first broadcast when we were at the Corwin Institute uh, across the way here. Um, so I, I just thought it was cool that those two came together uh, and, uh, and talked about student voice and, and we had, we've, we've had both featured on our show, which so I thought that was pretty cool. And then uh, I'm going to wrap this. Oh, actually we've got a couple more, <laughs> um, but uh, an Arkansas educator and one of our good friends, Stoney Evans, and he is at Stoney one two two seven zero. So at Stony twelve two seventy, um, this blew my mind. All right, so he had a chance. Uh, he he had been away and he came back and he said uh, the the he did a blog post and we'll put the we'll put the link out there. Um, but he did a, a blog post and he said you know I got home and there was my Surface Pro four waiting for me and he couldn't wait to try Skype Translate. So he connected with uh, an educator he knows who is Spanish speaking and. They both used Skype Translate. He spoke in English, and she heard it in Spanish. She spoke in Spanish. He heard it in English. Holy cow. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that stuff crazy? Oh, my gosh. Real-time voice translation. Well, And I've got to, show, I've got to tell you, if Google Translate, if you use the actual camera piece on it, Mm -hmm. And you point it at a language, and it will translate. Yes, really, the majority of it into whatever language you want it to translate in. Yeah. And what's neat about that is if you're traveling and there's a street sign in French or Spanish, and you can hold it up, it will read the sign and translate it into what's going on. Oh, it, it's amazing! It's, yeah. In fact, um, Mr. Sulu, get us out of here. Not not <laughs> <laughs> a couple of years ago, and now, and now the years all blur. The older you get, everything blurs. Um, <laughs> But a couple of years ago, my family had gone to San Antonio for vacation, and we were using the Google Translate app on the phone to translate some of the Spanish signs into English. And my daughter was just eating it up. She thought that was the coolest thing to be able to point to the sign and, what does this mean? And boink, there we go. We see what it means. It, was, it is so cool. Yeah. And, and then to have this, where you just talk and you let the computer handle the translation and I'm sure some things get lost in translation. I mean, but heck, when you put two people in a room with a translator, things, <laughs> things get, get know, lost. lost so, but that is that mind blowing. <laughs> well, I have one more, and this is just yeah. a new add to our list. And I, 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 she might not listen to the podcast, and may, she might see the tweet now that I know that uh, Nate will probably tweet this out to her. But um, uh, she's she follows us, and we follow her back. You know, we're we're pretty good about following educators back, you know, yes, and letting absolutely. you know that we we want to support you on Twitter and the social media the best we can. Uh, her name is uh, Amy Fast, and she is a high school assistant principal and author from McMinn McMinnville, Oregon. And her book is um is a really really great book. It's called. Uh, it's the mission, not the mandates, defining the purpose of public education. Um, really good stuff there. I mean, really, I I was browsing through it, taking a look at it, you know, trying to decide if I okay, do I have time to read this book? You know, because we're all kind of busy. Right. But um, just just the preface was, you know, it grabs you and you go, yes, it's not about test scores. This is what it's really about. Yeah. You know, the test scores will come, 
this is what it's really about. Are we That's really awesome. doing it for the students? You know, right. So I just want to give her a shout out. If you cool. want to follow someone great, just to keep up with them, um, that's some great stuff coming from her. Her um, Twitter handle is Fast Cranny, <laughs> F A S T C R A N N Y. Right. So yeah, and her last name is Fast. So you know, I'm guessing right. maybe she go. maybe she drag races too. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe so. <laughs> so anyway, know. maybe she likes Thomas's English muffins, all the nooks Ooh, and crannies. Crannies, touche, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Listen. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, we are so stupid. <laughs> Mark Aubrey uh, actually tweeted out to us that if, if we have any more Disney sing-alongs, he's canceling his subscription. <laughs> so, I, well, that Mark, that we're, what's happening is we're shuffling here because David and I were just about to sing an old medley from the Apple Dumpling Gang. I'm kidding. Right, we're not. <laughs> there's a whole. There's I, a, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pete's Dragon, the first one. We're going to sing from oh, that. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm no, just kidding. Oh, no. Man. Uh, but no, really, uh, we, oh, we'll, 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 we'll stay away from the Disney sing-alongs, and we will not do that anymore. I know, it breaks David's heart. But tell you what we're going to Don't do. Don't go breaking my heart. What about that? <laughs> we, we just sing along. Everybody. Uh, if you haven't heard, um, Texas, Louisiana especially, Arkansas and Texas, we're, we're, it's been raining now for what, three days? Four days? Well, here in Arkansas, yeah. Yeah. So Louisiana. Texas has just I, been getting it too. We're all just, it's just a lot of rain. Te- Louisiana's flooding like nobody's business. Yes, so, it's crazy. Yeah, you know, our, our hearts go out to those folks, and I hope that it gets better for them. But uh, just because all of our rain in Arkansas comes from Texas, and I was thinking, hey, it's raining outside, and we haven't listened to Shane Howard in a long time. Ooh. So I'm going to pull up some Shane Howard. Here's a little Shane Howard, uh, one, of my, one of our favorite songs, Texas Rain. We'll be nice. right back with edutechguys.com. Texas rain keeps falling on me. Clouding my heart with misery. Washing my hopes and dreams away. This Texas rain. Driving me back to the one I love. The one I said I never think of. Making me want her like we used to be. Thinking with my Sometimes it 
Coward Band, Texas Rain, here on EduTech Guys Radio. Thanks for listening. This is uh, David Henderson. With me is Jeff Madlock. Listen, we are going to be out and about November, uh, late November, November 30th through December 3rd. We will be in Savannah, Georgia, coming to you live from the AESA National Conference. And then in January 24th through the 27th, In Orlando, Florida, we will be coming to you live from the FETC conference down there, providing live conference coverage and more from Orlando. Plus, we've got some other things in the work, so uh, be sure to uh, listen in. Also, you can find out where we will be on our schedule at edutechguys.com. Good times. Good times. Like to get on the road. On the road. He hates it because I usually bring my accordion and sing on the road again over and over and over again as we travel. You have no idea. (laughs) You have no idea. Hey, listen, going to wrap this thing up. Before we do the Google tip of the week. I didn't give you you much. What was that? All right. So you've been listening to our our quasi back to school show. Last week was getting ready. Our back to school checklist. And this week is our back to school show. So, you know, uh, lots of stuff out there. Parent notification big deal. Make sure you're doing it. Make sure you're using your social media. You want to use consistency with parent parent notifications. Exactly. Coding sites, they've exploded recently, and coding is a big deal. Here in Arkansas, the governor has a new agenda of coding in public schools, and he's pushing it really heavily, and we're all behind it 110%. Um, Edutopia, don't forget, they've released their big list of education grants. You can check that out at www.edutopia.org. Want to check out those grants? I want to thank all of our many guests in the future. They're doing some great stuff. As always, keep up with Dave Burgess, Ginger Lumen, Dr. Russ Qualia, and Justin Bader with the Principal Center podcast over at principalcenter.com. Also, Richard Byrne. He always has some great stuff at www.freetech4teachers.com. Kevin Honeycutt. You can't go wrong with Kevin. He's that Kevin. He's down under right now wrestling a koala bear and a, and a, uh, a kangaroo for a snack, probably, if I know Kevin or he's... Uh, if I know Kevin, he's already taught a, a whole herd of kangaroo to play guitar. I know he has. That's exactly right. That's how he rolls. Uh, don't want to miss uh, one of our great friends, Arkansas educator and media specialist, Stoney Evans, at Stoney12270. He is the, the man when it comes to you know doing media and handling Skype and doing all the crazy cool stuff out there with a lot of Microsoft cool stuff yeah, going man. on. I also want to give a shout out to uh, one of our new followers, Amy Fast, uh, assistant principal from McMinnville, Oregon, and we are at that point of the show, which is David's favorite point of the show. Guess what, people? It's time for the Google Tip of the Week. (laughs) I'm going to let David take this one. It's David's Google Tip of the Week. Go, David. All right, so this is awesome, actually. Um, Released just today, Google for Education. Um, If you go out to googleforeducation.blogspot.com, and again, we'll put the link out on the Twitter. they have released a whole slew of features just in time for back to school. So they have things like now parents and guardians can stay informed with Google Classroom email summaries, which is very, very cool. So basically what happens is once a teacher invites them, then the parents and guardians can receive um, automated daily or weekly, depending on how they want to do it, uh, daily or weekly email summaries of the student work and class announcements, that type of stuff, so they can keep up with what's going on in the classroom. What? I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then uh, another cool thing is um, they've added really neat annotations to uh, Google Docs in the classroom in the Google Classroom mobile app, and so students can actually add. Um, you know, hand drawn annotations, or they can type in annotations. They can choose different colors depending on what they're wanting to annotate. I mean, it is very, very cool. Uh, and then uh, another thing, I, I'm telling you, they rolled out a bunch of stuff for the start of school. Uh, they've really blown up with Google Expeditions, and that brings students far beyond the usual places that they can travel. And so they're different adva- adventures, rather. Um, that all tie into Google Classroom, and uh, they've got different uh, lessons that go with that, and you can check it out in uh, either full screen mode, you can check out through a VR viewer, I mean, all kinds of really cool, cool stuff. Uh, And then there's a whole slew of other things that are going on that's on that 
uh, updated Google for Education .blogspot .com page. Lots of cool stuff Google rolling out for the start of school. Wow, that's really crazy. That's really awesome too. Is, I'm very impressed. Yeah, Google, and and I, I love that they did it this week. You know, they're like, hey, here you go, boom, ready for school. Yes, that's awesome. Um, great show. Thanks, David, for inviting me. <laughs> Ain't time you want to come back. You just say old David and just say, I'll, I'll bring you back to his show. I'm sorry. Someone just beat David in the face with a putter. I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> putter. <laughs> oh, I'm actually hiding behind the desk now. I'm not sure. <laughs> it takes so little to entertain us. Hopefully, it doesn't take that much to entertain you either. <laughs> so. Yeah, we, yeah, we really <clears throat> hope that. But, hey, you know, I was going to say that uh, the Google stuff you were talking about, what's really neat about it is not only did they do that stuff, but you know, they've added a whole bunch of stuff to Google Classroom beyond just that summary and things. Yeah. So if you haven't checked out Classroom and you're an educator, you really want to jump into that. And if you're a parent or you know a parent, that Google summary thing is a really big deal mm -hmm. because, you know, you set your summaries up right. Parents will know exactly what their kids are supposed to be doing, what work they should be working on. It just helps. And the kids know their parents know. Right. So, you know, that just helps us all learn. And, and there's that word again, consistency. If you use it and you consistently use it, it's going to help out your classroom more than anything else. So, exactly. yeah, I think that's really cool. And um, I think it's really cool, too, that Google Forms um, for teachers, it, you get to add images to questions now. Oh, that's very That's cool. a new addition. It's a yeah. small addition, but that's actually a pretty big addition, especially when you're making a quiz or something and you want to put in, you know, hey, you're looking at, the uh, the the set the the cycle the photosynthesis what's missing A B C or D right I mean, you can do some really cool stuff with oh, that sure or you know art history or heck for that matter here is I'm going to show you a piece of a score of music and you tell me you know whatever it is I need to know right you know put that in there that's awesome a lot of schools are also rolling out inbox by Gmail which is a new feature from from Google um, which actually will work for the classroom and here's what it does it actually intelligently groups your classroom mails in the inbox for you That's so cool. that you don't have to deal with. Now, if you haven't seen inbox for Gmail, uh, take a look at it. It's, it's great. Just go out there and do inbox for Gmail. You can find it on the web pretty easy and um, take a look at what it does. It's pretty neat the way it intelligently learns, intelligently learns what you're doing and what your email looks like. And it helps to group it for you. That's cool. Um, uh, most schools have it turned on. They already turned that kind of stuff on so that it can roll out. But if right. it's not, you want to check with your system administrator or technology coordinator, IT department, and ask them to turn that on for you. Yeah, very cool. Hey, well, I want to thank David. David did a lot of work on the show notes today. I was, I was busy uh, with other things. Well, and you were busy with the, you know, start of school. The stuff, start of so. school. So, uh, but it was. Uh, he did a great job. I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, I enjoyed the show. I hope everybody else did. <laughs> and it's, you know, like I say, it's, if I enjoyed the show, I, you know. I have no idea where you're going. I'm just I've lost my mind. Oh, you. Yes. Hey, listen, I'm Jeff Madlock. I'm David Henderson, I Thanks. think. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. You've been listening to EduTech Guys Radio, radio.edutechguys.com. The opinions expressed on this site this program to those who participants are not intended to and do not necessarily reflect the opinions of any specific educational entity, sponsor, company, state, or government agency.